Come on, praise the Lord. today in Jesus name open in prayer and let us close our eyes and pray unto the Lord Heavenly Father I come in the name of Jesus Lord we welcome your Holy Spirit in this place Lord we welcome your presence in this place today in the name of Jesus Lord we come today Lord to worship you in the spirit and the truth Lord you say you seek such worshipers in the name of Jesus let your power let your anointing let your deliverance let your way making Lord let your help Lord be in the service in the name of Jesus Lord I buy every hindering spirit in the name of Jesus I plead your blood right now in the name of Jesus over our service Lord in the name of Jesus he said at the name of Jesus Heavenly Father that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord, Lord. We're confessing your name, Lord. That your power, your presence, Lord, your way making, Lord, the, the power of the Holy Spirit be in this service, all throughout the service and everything we do. We give you the thanks and we give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
Worship service is 11.30 a.m. And we welcome all to come and praise and worship and have a celebration with Blessed Assurance Temple of Our Living God Ministry. Now we're going to get into our service. We had uh, God said, come before his presence with a loud sound and knock before you enter into the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Before you come into somebody's house, what do you do? Just beat them, beat them God's feet. You knock. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When you see someone, what do you do? You greet them. Hallelujah. You say hello. Hallelujah. You don't just come into anybody's house without uh, knocking or presenting yourself or greeting. Amen? Amen. So greetings in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God, our Lord and Savior. Lord, Father God, we have come to you, asking, seeking, and knocking, Father God. And we thank you, Lord God, for this praise and worship, Lord. We pray that it be pleasing to your sight, Father. We thank you, and we love you, and we worship you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a crazy worship today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Holy Spirit, come on in the room. Oh, come on in the room. Oh, come on in the room. Holy Spirit, come on in the room and bless my soul. Bless my soul, bless my soul. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, come on in the room. Oh, come on in the room. Oh, come on in the room. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Come on in the room and bless my soul, bless my soul, bless my soul. Oh, we can't do nothing till you come on in the room. Oh, come on in the room. Oh, come on in the room. Yes, we need your spirit, Lord. Come on in the room. And bless my soul. Bless my soul. Bless my soul. Oh, Holy Spirit. Come on in the room. Oh, come on in the room. Oh, come on in the room. Yes, Lord, we need your strength, Lord. Come on in the room. And bless my soul. Bless my soul. Bless my soul. Jesus is my doctor. He writes out all my prescriptions. He gives me all of my medicine in the room. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord. While you come on in the room. Oh, come on in the room, Jesus. Jesus is my doctor. Yeah, he writes all my prescriptions. He writes out all my prescriptions. He gives me all medicine. He gives me all my medicine in the room. Go ahead, prophet. Oh, Lord. Come on, Lord. Come on. Oh, come on in the room. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Jesus is my doctor. What does he do? He writes out all my prescriptions. He gives me all my medicine. He gives me all of my medicine in the room. Come on, brother. Hallelujah. Come on. 
Come on, Jesus, come on. Yes, Lord, come on in the room. Oh, Jesus is my doctor. Thank you, Lord. He writes out all my prescriptions. He gives me all my medicine in the room. He gives me all of my medicine in the room. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I gotta cry sometimes. I got to cry sometimes. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I gotta cry sometimes. I got to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. But that's alright. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. After a while. After a while. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I gotta cry sometimes. I got to cry sometimes. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. But that's alright. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I said Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know my Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. After a while. After a while. My way. I have to moan sometimes. I have to moan sometimes. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to moan sometimes. I have to moan Whoa. sometimes. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. That's alright. That's alright. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I said Jesus. Jesus. He will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. After a while. After a while. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I got to cry sometimes. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I got to cry sometimes. I got to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. I lay awake at night. But that's alright. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I know Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. I said Jesus. Jesus, He will fix it. After a while, after a while, glory, hallelujah, he's coming. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, Jesus, he's coming. Oh, Zion, what's the matter now? Oh, Zion, what's the matter now? Oh, Zion, what's the matter Oh, you don't pray like you used to pray. Oh, you don't pray like you used to pray. Oh, you don't pray like you used to pray. 
1 through 12. I read the first verse, then read the second, and so on. The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of owls be glad thereof. Second verse. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and, bur and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlighten the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord, of the Lord, the whole earth. The heavens declared his righteousness, and all his people see his glory. Confounded be all they that were graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard and was glad. The daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For the Lord art high above all the earth, thou art exalted for far above all gods. Ye, ye that love, love the Lord, Lord hate evil. evil. He, he preserves the soul of the saints. Of the saints. He delivers them out of the hands of the wicked. Light is, is sworn for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Last verse together. Rejoice, Rejoice in, in the Lord, Lord ye righteous, righteous and, and give thanks Christ unto the remember of his, of his holiness. holiness. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Now we're going to ask uh, teaching to come up and give us the Lord's Prayer. Everybody say the Lord's Prayer along with him. Uh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread. bread. Forgive, forgive us our debts. We give our debtors. Lead, Lead us not to no temptation, but but deliver us from all sin and evil. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. And the glory. Forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Now for our testimonies. Will there be any testimonies? I thank God for being here. Thank God for making a way. Thank God for his word. How he said he will deliver us out of the hands of him because we know his word is true. So I just thank God for saving me. He sanctified me, filled me with the Holy Ghost. I have a mind to run on for Jesus. Pray for me. Pray for each other that we can be what the Lord wants us to be in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I testify to the goodness of God. Glory. Hallelujah. I'm thankful for my, my family. I'm thankful for my ministry. I'm thankful for, for everything that God has blessed me to receive, that God has given me stored over. I am so thankful. I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for the Holy Spirit. And I'm thankful that God answers prayers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm thankful for testimonies. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. T.T., let's testify. Come on. Stand up and testify. Hallelujah. Uh, thank God for being here and thank God for all the blessing of us and keeping us together. Jesus name, Jesus name. Amen. God bless him. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now for our announcements. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed Assurance Temple of our Living God Ministry. Starts at 11.30 a.m. on the Sabbath Sunday. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, for viewers that are viewed in um, on the Sabbath day, it should air. It should be aired about between 5 and 6 p.m. Um, so tune in about 5 or 6 p.m. Glory to God. Hallelujah. On the Holy Sabbath day. Um we have changed our About a Mile program, our About a Mile Food and Clothing program to Jesus Saves Food and Clothing program. It is now called, our, our, our Food and Clothing program is now called um, Jesus Saves Food and Clothing program. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Also, we are on the radio station on Fridays. Uh, keep 
um, updated and uh, keep updated with us, keep in, in touch with us so that you would know the time uh, that we are scheduled for Friday radio station. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Also, uh, Righteous Talk. Uh, we're still booking and receiving appointments for live callers and live interviews. Uh, speaking on the goodness of God, sharing testimonies, live callers, live interviews. Uh, you can call our ministry number at 814-695-1203. Follow the prompts and go to the Righteous Talk Department. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, if you would like to make a generous donation to uh, Jesus Saves Food and Clothing Program, go to uh, the donation department, 814-695-1203, follow the prompts and go to the donation department. Or you can simply click on our link here on our channel and go to our secure um, donation page. Hallelujah. Go to About Us. And you can read and see um, all about us as you click on about us here on our channel here. Go to about us and you will see the donation button. Um, and it is a secure um, um, donation um, button. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Secure donation site. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, is there any other announcements? Well, to thank God that God's opening up doors, you know, for us in many ways. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll give more detail when, when the Lord performs. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, if you are in the Blair County area, and you need assistance uh, with food, clothing, any other kind of assistance that we may be able to help as God uh, enables us and God blesses us. Um, we uh, are very delighted to dispatch in the name of Jesus. If you need assistance, um, call us at, at the ministry, 814-695-1203. Follow the prompts and go to the Jesus Saves Food and Clothing Department. Hallelujah. Um, and also, um, Jesus Saves Food and Clothing uh, Program is open on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. That's our um, Jesus Saves Food and Clothing Program. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you need assistance, give us a call and we will set you an appointment. You have to have an appointment to come and receive whatever assistance you need to be receiving. Hallelujah. Amen. We also have our prayer line. Uh, you can call the ministry number, follow the prompts, go to the prayer department. If you get a high call volume, Go to the prayer request department and leave your prayer request. And if you would like for pastor or prophet to get back with you, uh, just leave the, a message, leave your prayer request, leave a message, and we will return your call in the order that it was received. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Blessed Assurance Temple of our Living God ministry email address is blessedassurancetemple at gmail.com. That is Blessed Assurance Temple at gmail.com. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, that will do. That will do for our um, announcements. And now we're going to take up our offering. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Hallelujah.
Amen. We thank God for the ring of the word, which is out of Psalms 100. Amen. 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 Now we're going to have Pastor come for an encouraging word. Amen. Well, the encouraging word I got for you today is going to be taken out of Psalms 18. And I'm going to go um, verse 6. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress. And my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I will call upon the name of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death can pass me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell can pass me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried upon my God. He heard my voice out of the temple, and my cry came before him, even unto his ears. So think about this. This is a word of encouragement to you, that if you call upon the name of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, he shall save you from your enemies. See, the battle is not yours, but it's the Lord's. And if we learn to what? Give praise unto the Lord in the midst of your fiery trial. God will deliver you and save you from your enemies. Nothing, you know, shall, you know, stop you from being saved from your enemies. Amen. The Bible is clear. It says you can look to the hills for with cometh your help. Your help comes from the Lord. So if you're in distress, remember your help comes from the Lord. If you need deliver from your enemy, enemies, your help comes from the Lord. If you need blessed in your finances, your help comes from the Lord. If you need a healing in your body, your help cometh from the Lord. If you're sorrowful in your heart, your help cometh from the Lord. In your distress, in your sorrow, 
Call upon the name of the Lord, and he shall help you this day and always. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to have our Holy Communion. I'm going to ask everyone to stand as we get ready to take Holy Communion. I gave myself away so you can be me. I myself away. I gave myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away, Lord. I give myself away. So you can use me. Give myself away. Hallelujah. I give myself away. So you can use me. Give myself away. Amen. First Corinthians chapter eleven is where our scripture is going to be taken from. And we're going to start out of uh verse twenty-six and third. For us and every eat this bread and drink this cup, you show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthy shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy and eateth and drinketh damnation to himself not discerning the Lord's body. body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Amen. And when he had given thanks, he break it, and he said, Take, eat. This is my body broken for you. Do it in remembrance of me. Take heed, in Jesus' name. And when he had given thanks, and in the same manner also he took the cup, take the cup. This is after he ate the bread. And he said, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. Ye do this, and often as you drink it, do it in remembrance of me. Take drink. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Now, you may all be seated. I give myself away. So you... Can you use me? I give myself away. Hallelujah. Come on, one more time. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Amen. Now, this is the best part of the service that you should receive. The prophet of God, who was predestinated from her mother's womb. She's going to come before you and give you a prophetic word with spiritual insight from God's word in her own way. Receive the prophet with an amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to Thank his holy Jesus. name. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Today's message is going to be encounters with our master. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you had encounters with the master? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Encounters with the master. You know, the saints, the pure heart, and the upright have encounters with the master. Amen. Have encounters with the angels. Have encounters with our Messiah, Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. God is good. King Solomon had encounters with God. Things were so good. And I mean, King Solomon would meet God at a certain time of the night, of the evening, and he would pray unto him, and the Lord will speak to him, and you know, they would have conversations, and, and, and you know, King Solomon, you know, asked God for one thing. He said, Lord, just give me wisdom. Just give me your wisdom, Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. We do pray for wisdom. Wisdom is good. So God said, I will give you wisdom, and I will give you much more than that. God made King Solomon a rich man. And God also said, as long as you don't serve any other gods or worship any other false gods, serve any false god. Amen. Then you shall have your heart's desire, and you shall build my temple. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God, for it took King Solomon years to build the temple for the Lord. Hallelujah. About 13 years. 13 years. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. So everything was all good until Solomon, King Solomon, was weakened by a woman. And his weakness was women in the first place. <laughs> Amen. So however, he ended up serving false God. the false gods that the woman that he fell for was serving false idols and false things. So God got angry because he told King Solomon, I will do all this for you. I'll give, give you everything as long as you continue to serve me. He built the temple and it took him about 13 years to build that temple. And he did it for God. He encountered with God. I mean, can you imagine encountering with the Lord. Can you imagine that? I can imagine. You know, going to a private place, as we say today, our private closets, and speaking with the Lord. And I mean, we hear from the Lord in a different way today. Amen. But back then, they actually, God actually spoke through the heavens and just as you and I are talking now that's the encounters that they had with God at that time now we still encounter with God because we still hear from God Amen. God's prophets hear directly from God the Holy Spirit, we hear directly from the Holy Spirit. God's prophets, God's pastors, uh, God's evangelists, but mostly God's prophets. Hallelujah, because they have a divine 
uh, predestinated calling and God gives them spiritual insight. God gives me spiritual insight. I am a prophet and God shows me things before they happen. God tells me things before they happen. God tells me what to do. And it's just as if he was standing right here telling me to do it. That's how clear I can hear. That's how clear I can hear the Lord. Pardon me, my father. Amen. That's how clear I can hear him. Hallelujah. So with King Solomon, he fell to a weakness with a woman, and he let a woman bring him down. And God got very, very angry with him as he served false idols and false gods that the, that the woman that he fell in love with uh, took him into that to whom she was worshiping false idols. And she got King Solomon to bow down and worship her false idols. And God destroyed King Solomon's temple. He got very, very angry with King Solomon. And everything was all good until he fell and bowed down to false idols. Abraham heard from God and obeyed the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God spoke to Abraham. He encountered with Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And as he obeyed the Lord and hearkened to the Lord's voice, God asked him to give him a sacrifice and the sacrifice was his son. God promised Abraham that he would be father of many nations. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he told him, he promised him, you will be father of many nations. Also that his son, Abraham's son, Isaac, will inherit the same blessings as long as Isaac Isaac served the Lord. Amen. So also in the sacrifice of his son, of course that was very troubling, you know, but Abraham has faith in God. Amen. And he know that God is a just God. He's a just God. He know that God is a good God. And if he is going to do something, it's all right. Amen. He know that it's all good. He know that God is a really big God willing to do really big things. So, as a parent, I can't, I just can't imagine how he thought or how he felt. But he, he knew to be obedient to God and to go ahead and do what the Lord said to do. So he encountered what God, Abraham, encountered with God on several occasions. And on this one occasion, he told him to take his son Isaac Take him on up into the mountain and sacrifice him unto the Lord. So that he did. How can one imagine to do that? Faith in God. Because he knew what God had promised him. Abraham knew that God said that Abraham will be father of many nations and that his son will inherit the, the same blessings that his father has. So he knew either way, I'm going to take my son up here and obey the Lord and tie him down and sacrifice him unto the Lord. 
Because either way, God is doing something. Amen. Either way, God got a plan. Either way, I'm coming back here with my son. Is what I believe Abraham was thinking. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to take him up here and I'm going to sacrifice him. But either way, he's going to come back with me. Because God is a high God. God is an omnipotent Lord. So just before Abraham was to sacrifice his son, he raised back the knife. And he heard the voice from the Lord. And he said, Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. So he didn't need to sacrifice his son. But he was willing because he knew either way that Isaac was coming back home with his father. Amen. Amen. That was a major encounter with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes God just want to see where your heart is. Sometimes God just want to see how much you love him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I mean, come on. If we can do it, if we can, you know, I want to see how much God loves me. Why can't God do that? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So Abraham encountered with the master. Ezekiel had encounters with the master. God told Ezekiel to speak to the dead bones, and the dead bones become, become life. And life it was. Hallelujah. Amen. Very scary experiment, experience, if you ask me. <laughs> you sitting around praying. Until some dead bones come alive. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. So Ezekiel spoke to the dead bones. God told him, speak to the dead bones. I want you to go. I want you to go pray. And I want you to go and speak to those dead bones. And those dead bones shall come to life. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, and Moses. Moses. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Moses spoke with God had meetings, daily meetings with God, thank you, Lord Jesus, to deliver God's chosen people. And as they had victory, God departed the Red Sea in spite of their murmuring and their complaining. God brought them out of the hands of Pharaoh, delivered them from the hands of the enemy. God brought them from slavery. Moses encountered with God as he wrote the Ten Commandments. Moses encountered with God daily for the deliverance of God's chosen children. Moses encountered with God, well, God, the master encountered with God, I'm sorry, the master encountered with Moses at the burning bush. When he first stopped them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So that was another encounter. That Moses had. With the master. And you know. The Egyptians. And the Israelites. It was delivered. God delivered them. Hallelujah. God delivered them. As Moses continued to go back. And say. To Pharaoh's army and to Pharaoh to let my people go. Thus saith the Lord, let my people go. And so many plagues came upon the enemy. And even after they were let go, he still tried to capture them. But they had victory. God gave them the victory. So much went on during that period of Moses having encounters with God. The people were complaining. I mean, I can just imagine how, you know, that frustrated Moses for the people to complain after God had delivered them out of the hands of the enemy. 
They complained about the water wasn't fresh enough. God rained down manna, and they tried to save it for the next day. Why? When God says, fret not for tomorrow, for tomorrow has enough troubles for itself. Focus in on today. Mm -hmm. If God had rained down manna from, from the heaven, giving you some angel food, you going to worry about, you going to try to save some of that angel food? <laughs> now you better eat it on up. Amen. 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 Receive it while you got it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So anyway, make a long story short, they complained, they murmured, and, uh, you know, God told Moses, speak to the rock, and it shall flow water. And God's chosen people complained so much that they made Moses so angry, he hit the rock. And he said, eat, drink, get out and drink, all you devils. And God was displeased with that. So, Pharaoh's army continued to come after them. But God takes care, takes care of us, doesn't he? Amen. God takes care of his people. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He departed that Red Sea, hallelujah. And as Moses' sister, uh, Miriam, she, she played the tambourine as in victory, for victory, hallelujah, for God to part in the Red Sea, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Pharaoh's army drowns in the Red Sea. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to his holiness. Glory to his holiness, hallelujah. As he departed the Red Sea for his people, we are his sheep, we are his people. He will depart the Red Sea for us as well. Hallelujah, glory to God. Encounters with our Messiah. Jesus' disciples sat with him, ate with him, drank with him daily basis. There was a lot of people that had encounters with Jesus. Jesus had a lot of followers. Jesus had many flock that his disciples didn't even know of. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So Jesus had many followers. For he said, I have many sheep that you do not know of. But his disciples questioned and wondered, seeking wisdom and Jesus' statutes. You know, they were very curious about, you know, well, Lord, how do we do this? And how do we do that? As Jesus walking the earth, he broke barriers, also breaking yokes. Hallelujah. So during the questions, you know, as he was pretty much training his disciples and teaching them of the Lord's ways and statutes. He's, he's spoken a lot of parables to make it simple for them to be able to understand what he was saying. So a lot of questions they ask, you know, we can find um, Jesus breaking barriers and breaking yokes and uh, we can find this and uh, the synoptic gospel in the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus asked his disciples, whom do men say I am? Because they said, who, you know, they, they asked a lot of questions. You know, who are you? We know that you are, you know, the Messiah. So he said, whom do men think that say that I am? And then he said, but who do you say that I am? And Peter said, Thou art the Christ, my Savior, my Messiah, my Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus walked the earth. He broke barriers. He broke yokes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Luke 15, verse 1 through 7 said, Jesus looks for the, looks for the lost ones. 
For he has come for the broken ones. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. He comes for the afflicted. He comes for those who so desire to be found. He comes for the women uh, with the past. He came and encountered with Mary Magdalene, the Samaritan woman. He had encounter with the woman that washed his feet with her hair, hallelujah, and mm -hmm. oil, glory to God. She encountered with our Messiah, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, Jesus, comes, has come for the broken, for the afflicted, for the lost, hallelujah. Amen. To seek and to save those who ones who was lost, glory to God. Nicodemus had an encounter with our Messiah. Even though he was on the wrong side of the field, on the wrong side of the team. He's on the side where they were prosecuting him. And he did try to speak up for Jesus. But his hands was tied. Wasn't much he could do. But he had an encounter, a meeting one night with Jesus. Asking him, how does one go back through his mother's womb and be born again? And Jesus simply told him, I'm not talking about going back through your mother's womb and being born again. I'm talking about being born of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Being born of the Holy Spirit. Being baptized. Being baptized. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Being sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Glory, hallelujah. Being filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Nicodemus had a private encounter with the Messiah. You and I and all of his little ones. And we know that we are in the body of Christ. He took our black souls and dipped us in his holy red blood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And he received us unto, unto himself. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For we know that we have also encounters with our Messiah because we have the Holy Spirit within us. Jesus said loudly, if any man thirst, let him come to me and I will give him drink. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let him come. And I will fill him with living waters. Hallelujah. That he'll never thirst again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If any man thirsts, let him come to me and I will give him drink. He that surrenders unto Jesus, God our Lord, he will receive you unto himself. Then shall you experience an encounter with God through his Holy Spirit. Or whatsoever way God reveals himself unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. God will choose how to reveal himself unto you. Jesus said, once you receive the Holy Ghost, wait. I mean, once you, once you uh, have been, uh, re ha once you repented for the remission of your sins, then wait on my spirit to fall upon you. Then shall you speak in tongues. Glory. Hallelujah. I have encounters Thank with God, Jesus. our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I had encounters with God when I was at his feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I was at his, at his feet. Bowed down. Hallelujah. Glory. It was a beautiful scenery. His feet was as brass. He had the brown sandals. Amen. He was standing in sand, and I was kneeling on my knees. I was on bended knees, hallelujah, and I looked up to him, for he was so tall, hallelujah, glory to God. And he was so shiny, Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. And I bowed my head, and I prayed unto the Lord, hallelujah, glory to God. I had an encounter, many encounters with Jesus, our Messiah, our Savior. I was at his feet. 
the second time I had an encounter with God. I seen him and I dropped everything that I had in my hands and I bowed down to him and I worshiped him. I just praised him. I cried out to him. I worshiped the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I gave him praises unto his holy name. Hallelujah. I gave him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And when I woke up, I felt reverence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. That's how you know you have an encounter with the Lord. When you fear, when you're fearful, when you're so fearful. I had another encounter with the Lord before and I seen the blood of the lamb. Right there before my eyes. And I got so afraid. Hallelujah. And I said one day unto the Lord when I was going through something. I said, Lord, reveal yourself to me, Father God. Show thyself. Where are you, Lord? For your servant needs you, Father. And I woke up through the middle of the night. And it was so dark in the room, all the lights was off. And all I can see was Jesus with his rod and with the white lamb. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I got so scared I hid underneath the covers like a little kid and I would not take those covers from off my head. Glory. Hallelujah. I felt so afraid. Hallelujah. I reverenced the Lord. My God, I was afraid. Glory. Hallelujah. That's an encounter with God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I did not take the covers back off my head. Hallelujah. I stayed underneath the covers. Praise the Lord. <laughs> So it gives me prophecy, insight, prophetically relying, re relaying messages and prophecy. You know, uh, not everyone, you know, God doesn't talk to everyone like that. God does not speak to everyone like that. People need prophets in their life. Because when they cannot hear, because when the person cannot hear from the Lord, the prophet can hear from the Lord and speak, and God will speak through the prophet for you. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So, everybody needs a prophet. God sent his prophets out to give warnings. Sent his prophets out to give a word of encouragement. Sent his prophets out to give a word from the Lord that was imperative, very needed. Amen? Amen. Glory, hallelujah. So, I have prophetic insight. I have, God has given me a prophetic gift. God has given me a spiritual eye and a high volume spiritual discernment. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Not everyone has this, but the prophets do. Glory. Hallelujah. Pastors have discerning spirits, but he works with people, different people in different aspects. Not everybody can handle what a prophet can handle. God has showed me so many things, hallelujah, glory to God, that even I was afraid, hallelujah. Amen. But God said, fret not, for thy I am with thee, for I have many people in this city, hallelujah, that will do you no harm. Continue to speak out, continue to do things as he told Paul, continue, do not silence yourself, continue to speak out. For the glorious gospel. For I have many people in the city. I will not let no one harm you. Hallelujah. So God has showed me. A lot of things. In my life. God has showed me. Things about people. 
God has told me to tell someone or someone, something, some people, things. A lot of people didn't receive it. So they had to pay the price or pay the piper. And they're still paying the piper. Hey, Amen. Be honest. Yeah, so they don't receive you. Shake the dust off your feet. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Leave it in the Lord's hand. Amen. As myself, being a prophet, God tells me or shows me. Either he shows me and he tells me, you know, and he tells me way ahead of time. Or sometimes he just show it to me right then and there. It depends on how God wants to do it. But I make sure that I relay the message. I make sure that I prophesy what he want me to prophesy. I make sure that I am receiving the prophecy from the Lord. Hallelujah. He has given me the interpretation of the dreams, the prophetic dreams that he gives me. I am able to interpret them. I am able to understand them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. So I myself have encounters with God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Messiah, for your encounters with me. I'm thankful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know that you're saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Spirit when you have encounters with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. For a prophet is without honor in its own city. Hallelujah. Sometimes a prophet is without honor in its own household. God said it. Prophet is without honor within its own household. Jesus came unto his own and they received him not. So, as Jesus went back to his hometown of Nazareth, to the city of Nazareth, and to his cousins, they received him not. They didn't believe that he was the Messiah. They thought he was out of his mind. And a lot of people think that I'm out of my mind sometimes. Am I telling the truth, Pastor? Amen. People think that I don't know what I'm talking about until it slapped them in their face. And that's when I have to walk away and just let it come to pass. You know, so be not discouraged when they don't receive you. They didn't reject you. They rejected God. Hallelujah. Amen. God told Moses, they didn't do that to you. They ain't, they ain't getting on your nerves. They getting on my nerves. Amen. Amen. Whatever they do unto you, they do unto me. That's what God says. Whoever is your enemy is an enemy to me. And I will be an enemy to your enemies. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Encounters with our angels. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Encounters with God's angels. The Virgin Mary uh, had an encounter with God's angel. The angels came, on, uh, an, an angel come unto her and said, Be not afraid, for God has found favor in you, Mary. You will give birth to the Holy One, and his name shall be called Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. As well, the angel appeared to Joseph as well and told him, Mary shall conceive a child, our Lord and Savior. Believe it. Believe it. Hallelujah. Amen. Daniel had an encounter with the angels, with, the, with an angel. An angel come unto him and said, God has heard your prayers the first time. Daniel asked, why 21 days later? The angel said unto him, perhaps you wasn't where you were supposed to be. So therefore, there was something blocking 
there was a principality in your way. Because you were not where you were supposed to be. See, sometimes we got to be where we need to be in order for God to bless us. Sometimes we got to be where we need to be for, we, for us to be delivered. Hallelujah. Sometimes we got to be on bended knees to, to, for our prayer to be answered. Sometimes we got to do the unseemly or the uncommonly or the unexpected thing, the unusual, to receive. Hallelujah. Amen. Much given, much required. Sometimes we got to be where God wants us to be for him to use us. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to go through the storm to be able to endure something. God wants us to know how to stand in the storm. So we have to learn to endure. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes we got to go through it to understand it. Sometimes we got to go through it just so God can do what he wants to do with you. Take you to higher heights in life. If you not have been through nothing, then how would you know how to handle something? Amen? Amen. We ought to be men and women of integrity. Hallelujah. Strong. Soldier in the army of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. So that when God is ready to do something, he does it. He does not hold back like he held back 21 days later. For the angel to appear unto Daniel and say, Daniel, God has heard your prayers the first time. Hallelujah. Daniel was on his knees praying. The angel appeared unto him and said, God heard your prayers the first time. And so Daniel says, so why 21 days later? Why have I been praying for 21 days? And the Lord didn't show up. And the angel said, perhaps. You wasn't where you were supposed to be. So here I am now because I had to go back and get the archangel that can bring you from where you are to where you're supposed to be because you was out of your territory. So you need to be in your territory where God places you. You need to hear from the Lord. Show me thy will, my Lord. For my life. Show me thy will, my God, not my will, but your will be done with my life in Jesus' name. That when I call, you answer. That when I pray, you hear. It. Amen. 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 Glory, hallelujah. That when I cry, you come. As you said in your holy word. Thank you, Lord. So we need to be in a territory where God can increase our territory. Amen? Amen. So that God can do what he plans to do. Just like it took them 40 years as they went in circles. God's chosen children went in circles for 40 years, something that was supposed to take three days. They weren't in the right territory. They weren't where God wanted them to be because they murmured and they complained. Sometimes you got to get up and say, Lord, I surrender. I surrender all to you, my God. Don't ever let me step out of your will, Father God. But keep thy will in my life, Lord. Hallelujah. That I hear from your Father. That I know where I'm supposed to be, my God. Hallelujah. My Lord and my God. So that I can serve you. So that I can hear from you. So that I know where you want me to be. So that nothing will be delayed. 
that is supposed to be in the now. Hallelujah. Amen. The lateness is disobedience. So we need to be upright with the Lord so that we can encounter with our God. Hallelujah. Encounter with the angels. Encounter with the Messiah. My husband told me that if he ever see an angel, he, he what'd you say? You'd be so frightened. You might run. <laughs> I told him, I said, I'll fall flat to my face and give praises unto the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So be in the territory where God wants you to be so he can use you. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Jacob wrestled with the angel. He said, I will not let you go until you bless my soul. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The angel said, let me go. Let me go. I've got to go. It's time for me to go. Jacob said, I will not let you go. Because he had determination. Hallelujah. I will not let you go until you bless my soul. And the angel moved his hand, moved Daniel's, moved J Jacob's hand off of him, and his soul got blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Just by that one angel touching him. Not by Daniel touching the angel. I'm sorry. Not, not by Jacob touching the angel. But by the angel touching Jacob. His soul got blessed. He walked away with a limp. Because that's how powerful the angels are. God's our angels are. But he said, I will not let you go until you bless my soul. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sometimes we got to tell the Lord, I ain't getting up off my knees. I ain't getting up off my face, my Lord, until you bless my soul. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to keep on praying, Lord, until you answer. I'm going to keep on doing what, you, what, what I'm supposed to do, Lord God, until you come through for me in the name of Jesus glory hallelujah God bless the name of Jesus blessed be the holy name of Jesus hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Lord do you have that determination as Jacob had hallelujah hallelujah don't stop praying to God bring it to pass and when God brings it to pass then you need to continue to pray for other things hallelujah Amen. glory to God so we shall have a testimony on a daily basis hallelujah glory to God we stay upright with the Lord hallelujah God Amen. so desires to bless us hallelujah I won't stop shouting and praising the Lord hallelujah to bless my soul I will serve you my Lord oh my God hallelujah continue to bless my soul. I won't stop on oh my Lord. On my knees. Day and night Father God. Praying unto you. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I won't stop until you open up the floodgates of heaven. Hallelujah. And let it rain in my life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And still after you open the floodgates of heaven. And let it rain in my life. I'm still going to praise my Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm still going to meet with the Lord at night on bended knees. I'm still going to meet with the Lord in the morning. Hallelujah. Knowing that I'm going to have victory and joy and peace and power and love today. And in and, and the now, hallelujah, glory to God, in my life, thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. So you encounter with God, hallelujah, if God lend an ear to your prayer, hallelujah. If you're upright with the Lord, you're going to encounter with the Lord and through your prayers, hallelujah. As Jesus spoke on the Sermon on the Mount, as he preached on the Sermon on the Mount, hallelujah, glory to God, asking knocking and seeking hallelujah three realms of prayer hallelujah you can have an encounter with God if you had those three realms of prayer hallelujah asking knocking and seeking hallelujah glory to God thank you Lord God I won't stop asking my Lord until you answer hallelujah God glory glory I won't stop seeking hallelujah 
until you give it, Lord. Hallelujah. I won't stop knocking, Lord. Hallelujah. Until you open the door. Hallelujah. My breakthrough. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, I'm going to receive my breakthrough. Glory. Hallelujah. Because I'm knocking at the Lord's door. Hallelujah. And I come before his presence with knocking with a loud sound. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I come before the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Glory. Hallelujah. We encounter with the Lord when we are, when God is pleased with us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If God lent an ear to your prayer, you are encountering with God. Hallelujah. God is encountering with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So Lord, I will not let go until you bless my soul. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. On the Sermon on the Mount, like I said before, Jesus presented the three rims, R-E-A-L-M-S, rims, not rim, rims. Jesus presented the three rims of prayer, asking, seeking, and knocking. Asking, seeking, and knocking. Matthew 7, 7, 9, the Old Testament shows us how to enter into God's presence. And it uses the tabernacle as a map that leads us through those three life-changing realms. Asking, seeking, and knocking. Three life-changing realms. Asking, seeking, and knocking. Through the tabernacle. From the outer court to the holy place. And then into the holy of holies. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. So let us explore in detail how each area reveals the three realms of asking, seeking, and knocking. That leads us into the presence of our almighty God. Hunger is in the believers. Real believers hunger for God. And that hunger, beloved, draws you near to God. God places that hunger in his people. God knows the heart of every man, woman, and child. Hallelujah. Amen. So those who hunger for God, that draws us into the presence of God. Our impulse is to seek God. Begins with him. He knows. He knows the, He knows our strength. And he places that urge with inside of us to hunger for him. But you must pursue God with everything. And a desire for fervent prayers. For, for, prayer, for your prayer life. You must have a fervent prayer life. For God to aim, for you to have an encounter with God, for God to be in your presence, for you to enter into the presence of our Lord. You have to have that desire, that hunger, and that fervent prayer. Affectionate fervent prayers of the righteous avail as much. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So God desires to fellowship with us. When we spend time with God, he will answer our prayers. Glory, hallelujah. Salvation, the Greek word sozu, is to save. It is used for deliverance. It is used for breaking curses, to break sickness, to, for, from, from, uh, to, to flee demons and other trails that are not of God. Our Lord and Savior, Almighty God, sozu, is to save. Hallelujah. Breaks the yokes, breaks the curses, sickness, afflictions, and trails of demons. It flees. Hallelujah. It breaks the demons. Hallelujah. Salvation. Glory to God. The Greek word sozu. Our Lord and Savior, Almighty God, salvation means in the uh, relationship with God. Salvation means that you have a relationship with God. Spiritual healing being released from sin, selfishness, interbrokenness. Jesus saves who accepts him. Accept
nothing to offer the offer of salvation. So if you accept the offer of salvation, it is available to you. Amen. Through the holy blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Encounters with, with our Master. Encounters with our Messiah. Encounters with God's angels. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God said, I'll lend ear to the righteous prayer. But I am angry with the wicked every day. God will mock the evildoer's prayer. God will not hear the evil doors. But God Almighty hears a righteous prayer. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. And we are so thankful for God hearing our prayers. We are so thankful for the encounters that we have with our Lord God and Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm going to ask Pastor to come up and give commentary on the message. Amen. Amen. Well, we, we heard the word of God, you know, having encounters with God. And one of the ways, thank you, Jesus, we can have encounters with God today is through the word of God. Amen. Now, you would ask, well, why would you say that? The Bible says, faith comes by hearing, hearing, by the, word of hearing God. by the word of God. So if you hear the word of God, you had an encounter with God. Because the Bible says, in the beginning was the what? The Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So if you hear the Word of God, that means you had a what? An encounter with God. Amen. And then I like what she talked about salvation. If you have salvation, you also have an encounter with God because now you establish a relationship with God, which means you now have a connection to God, which means you're going to have more encounter with God because of what? Because of prayer. Amen. So when you pray... You're having a what? A connection unto God, which built a relationship unto God because you have an encounter with God. And then she hit on another point about being a prophet. You know, God uses a prophet different than he would use, you know, uh, say, for example, uh, a, a Holy Ghost filled Christian. We understand, the Bible talks about when you have the Holy Ghost, you know, the signs of one shall follow them that believe in my name. But God specifically uses, you know, prophets in a prophetic way of God. See, so they have encounters with God with what? Dreams and visions Amen. and discernment Amen. and also in the physical. Not Amen. only in the spiritual, but also in the what? In the physical. Amen. Because just like what she hit on before, she said, uh, Jesus came unto uh, their own, so they had he had an encounter with them physically. Amen. He had an encounter with you know disciples physically, because he what he ordained them one by one. Amen. So he had what uh, uh, a connection with them, which caused him to have what an encounter with them. He yes. even had an encounter with Judas. That's right. That's right. The enemy. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes you know you can have an encounter with God. But it got to do with also having an encounter with the enemy. But God gives you a discerning spirit of who the enemy is. And power. You know what I mean? Like Amen. what he did with Jesus. Lord, because Jesus already knew. He identified who the enemy was. Mm -hmm. And that's why he told him, he said, what you do, you what? Do it quickly. Mm -hmm. And so, just like my wife, the prophet, was talking about how God gave her visions and dreams. She gave it to particular people, which I had seen. You know, and yes... Sometimes, you know, the prophetic word didn't come right away, but it came. And when it did come, you know what? Those ones that didn't believe her, which means they didn't believe the prophet, they didn't believe God, you know what? They suffered. And right now they're still suffering because they didn't listen to the prophet of God. See, the Bible is clear. If you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you'll receive a prophet's reward. Amen. And so, you know, just like uh, sometimes what happens is, I'm going to close, what happens is when you listen to, you know, anointed man prophet or anointed woman prophet of God, you know what, sometimes the punishment he was going to give them, sometimes they'll take it off. Amen. All because they're what? They were obedient. Amen. But yet, because they're disobedient, the Bible says the wrath of God comes upon the children 
a disobedience. So when they disobey, you know, the prophet, they disobey God. You saw? And so when you're in disobedience to God, the wrath of God comes upon those that are in disobedience. Obedience is better than what? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. An obedient child shall taste, taste the grace. So it's good to, you know, hear the word, receive the word, you know, continually have your encounter with God, like what the prophet said. In the morning, on your knees. Sometimes you'll get on your bed and knees to have a what? An encounter with God. Amen. In the night, sometimes you gotta be on your knees to have an encounter with God. And you know what? Sometimes even in your car, when you're driving to work, Amen. wherever you're driving, you know what? Praise you God. have that prayer. Now you have an encounter with God because God will speak to you. Praise God. You know, in the spirit room. You know what I mean? He'll tell you where to go. You know, sometimes then she said you gotta be in the right territory. Amen. You know, in order, in order sometimes to get the blessings of God. That's right. You know what I mean? Because you're not in the right territory. You know what? Sometimes you won't receive those specific blessings. Amen. You know, so she talked about the children of uh, Israel. How they had an encounter with God every day. Because you know how? Because Moses was their what? Their encounter. Amen. And Moses went to God on behalf of them. That's right. And which caused them to have what? An encounter with God. As well. You know what I mean? Because God used Moses, you know, like the prophet said, out of the burning bush. That's right. God used Moses when he came out of the mountain. He's he shooting so bright that he was blinded. That's right. And anybody was seeing him. That's right. Amen. So he had an, an encounter with a God. A strong encounter. And, and, and then, Amen. just like um, my, prophet talk, my wife, the prophet was talking about how she had visions of God and angels of God. That's an encounter with God. But see, there's, there's a difference. You know, a person Amen. can have an encounter with God, with the Word. Amen. A person can have an encounter with God with the Holy Spirit. Amen. A person can have an encounter with God with dreams and visions and discernment. Amen. And a person can have an encounter with God physically. Amen. You know what I mean? So, you know, get your encounter with God. You know, take this word, listen to it. You know what I mean? Take instruction from it that you may get the blessing and the favor, you know, of God's encounter with him so we thank god for the word we pray that you receive the word listen to the word heard the word and follow the instruction of the word now we're going to bring the prophet back to close us out in prayer amen send us on Father, for we thank you, Lord God, for the word that have went forth. We thank you for the commentary with the pastor. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for, for your holy word, Lord God. We thank you for all encounters, Father God, with you in the name of Jesus, Lord. We pray thank that you will continue to in Jesus' holy name. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you keep us uh, with your full armor, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, and the shoes of peace. Hallelujah. Glory to God throughout the day, Lord God. Bless us on this holy Sabbath day, Lord. We thank you for rest, Father God, for giving us rest, Father God. And we thank you, Lord God, uh, for this holy Sabbath day that we have set aside to praise and worship you, Father God. We thank you, thank Heavenly you, Father, for each other, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for peace, power, love, joy, and a sound mind. And we pray, Father God, that you would direct our footsteps and keep us in all of thy righteousness in Jesus' thank holy name. Jesus. And we thank you for it, Father God. We give you the praise, the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're dismissed. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus, come to Jesus just now, he will save